you know, in a way, as I said, uh, trying to divide up people or having different categories is pretty much the way we understand the world. You know, we cannot understand everyone as individuals. Uh, that will be impossible. You know, uh, literally speaking, that will be impossible. But then trying to set up categories sometimes can be limiting. You know, can uh, be unfair to some people. For instance, uh, um, you know, when you follow the logic of E. Cummings, uh, at the end you will think that um, the women and men here, when they reap their sowing and uh, when they came, uh, is um, leading a kind of meaningless and dull life, mechanical life. But then if you, if, if you try to read this uh, away from the logic, not following the logic of the poem, then you wonder what, what's wrong with that. What's wrong with reaping uh, what we sow and uh, uh, going the way we come? No, isn't it uh, just the way life is? You know, so I, I think that uh, this point tries to cherish uh, the uniqueness of anyone or no one. But then um, it may be um, unfair in the way it presents uh, someone and everyone. Or it may be unfair in uh, the way they gender. Uh, it genders any, anyone and no one. You know, that no one is a she and she is always submissive and self-sacrificing and anyone is a he, uh, so he is to be remembered, he, he is everything to no one, etc. Okay, so the gender, gendering policy here may not be what we can uh, agree with, you know, from our position, you know, in our time, yeah. Okay, but I, I think the, uh, uh, I like uh, the way uh, it talks about uh, f the forgetfulness of children. And I think that's really true, you know, maybe um, now that I'm a lot older than you, you know, I, I know what being forgetful means, okay. So I, I think that from uh, childhood to adulthood and then to middle ages, etc., you know, we do get uh, to forget a lot uh, or leave behind a lot. But then uh, I guess, uh, and I hope uh, along the way we are also learning things. So we are not just like casting things away, we are also learning and gaining in wisdom, etc. Yeah. Okay. So this is uh, the way you can uh, analyze a poem. You know, first uh, you can look at the repetition to uh, to see how uh, E. E. Cummings use regularity or repetition to describe life. You know, life means uh, like the bell can be uh, symbolic. You know, like church bell. You know, would be you no know, symbolic of that or uh, the marking of time. So uh, the bell, the season, uh, the weather, they are all the re regular elements in our life. Okay, and then um, uh, uh, we can pay attention to uh, the repetition of actions by, uh, with the, the word by. Okay, and also uh, the action verbs like sing, dance, did, so, reap. And finally, um, Repetition of sounds, Pretty How Town. You know, uh, as I said last time, Pretty How Town is hard to interpret, but then you can, you know, if you don't, um, sorry, I, I underlined the wrong, oh uh, no, How Town is uh, assonant, has assonance. 就中间的母音是相同的, how and town, ow, right? Okay, um, but what is hard to uh, explain is uh, what pretty and how means. You know, you can look at it in terms of uh, uh, two kinds of conformity. One is uh, being pretty in appearance, and that this town is uh, very neat, uh, very, uh, everybody is uh, like, a bit like a uh, Truman Show, Truman de you know, the town that Truman lives in, you know, everybody is neat, you know, everybody is pre uh, pretty, etc. You know, and that could be a, an example of the pretty how town. You know, they are both pretty, and they follow a kind of uh, regular procedure uh, to follow the kind of how uh, uh, the town uh, accepts, you know, so that's a, a pretty how town, yeah. Okay, and then uh, you can try to make a contrast between what anyone, no one do, do on one side and what someone and everyone do on the other side, you know, and then you can find out, you know, as you, as you uh, read, a, if you read a line separately, maybe you don't find that many meanings, but if you make a contrast between he, he's seeing he's didn't, they're sowing, there isn't. 
you know, once you make the contrast, you find out that uh, anyone is unique, while uh, someone and everyone try to conform, or uh, anyone uh, expresses his opinions, while someone and everyone um, is insincere, laugh their crying and did their dance. You know, insincere, sin insincere, they don't have ide their ideal, and they uh, pass through some mere repetitions of life, etc. So make sure that you know how to set, uh, find a pattern, see the oppositions. Uh, otherwise, uh, it's hard, you know, to just because all the lines are abstract. You no, know, they create more meanings once you set them in contrast. Okay. Okay. Uh, so here I try to give you a bit of my interpretation. You can read them yourself, but you don't have to agree with me. Okay. Like uh, did they dance? Uh, that's what I said. Uh, they dance mechanically, but you can have your own. Uh, interpretation um, of what did their dance means, okay? So let me skip the interpretations. Uh, and then uh, reading the poem is really pleasant, you know, it's really fun. Um, I'm not going to test you on scanning, as I said uh, before. I'm not going to test you on scanning, but I'll give you some scan parts of the poem. Like I'll mark the stresses and then ask you what they mean. Okay. For instance, here uh, we have the alternation a lot between um, ductile. Ductile is da da da, zhong qing qing. Okay. Stress followed by two unstressed uh, syllable. Ductile and I am. Uh, the alternation of ductile and I am. And you see that in uh, blue, green, and orange color. Like this one has a lot of iambic meter with up so floating. Right with with up so floating okay, and uh, many bells down okay, uh, and then they sow their isn't they reap their same, you no. Know? So the regularity suggests uh, the reg regularity of their action, yeah. Okay, uh, and then uh, the pleas the the pleasant reading uh, happens also because of the many many assonants. There are a lot of assonants. 就是很多那个母音的那个韵。像是 ow, pretty how, down, now, oh, so, floating, both, so, uh, woo, uh, etc., etc. So there are a lot of repetitions of the sounds, uh, the meter, you know, to make the reading very pleasant. Yeah. Okay, uh, any questions about this point? Any questions? The following poem is easier, Mending Wall. Uh, it's easier, but uh, it's... Uh, again, uh, I think endlessly symbolic because the issue of wall is like anyone no one. You know, they they are very symbolic. You know, uh, wall can be can mean different kinds of walls. Okay, so basically my questions are uh, I'm not going to ask you to answer the questions this time because we are limited by time. I want to finish uh, the five points by 11:30, but also I want to give you a break. Uh, so uh, I'm not going to get you to answer questions from now on. Um, so uh, basically, uh, you need to figure out what something means. Uh, the whole poem describes how the speaker finds out that, oh, something is breaking the wall. And this something is different from the hunter. So he gets his neighbor to come to the wall to try to mend the wall. And then all of a sudden, the speaker wonders uh, why they have to fix a wall. Because uh, he has apple trees, and she ha he, uh, the, other, the neighbor has the other one has apple trees and the other has another plant. Uh, pine, okay. So they, uh, they won't invade each other. Okay, so he wonders why uh, they have to mend the wall. But the, the neighbor insists that they'll mend the wall and the neighbor says that uh, good fences make good neighbors. Okay, so basically uh, something, the wall, the speaker, the neighbor, and then spring, uh, you know, because uh, he said that maybe sp spring does something to me to make me wonder why there should be a wall, okay? And the, uh, the neighbor, and the, the final uh, statement made by the neighbor, you know, all of these elements you need to understand, yeah. Okay, so let me read the poem. Um, the poem uh, is very regular. It's a kind of blank verse. Uh, I'll explain the, the, the form later. So it's divided up uh, into several parts. You know, the first part describes uh, something Okay, something there is that doesn't love the wall, that sends a frozen ground, ground swell under, under it, and spills the upper boulders in the sun, and makes gaps, even two can pass abreast. 两个人可以平, uh, 
呃平着 a breast， 就是 side by side 走过去。哈、um, ，So this is a kind of the preface explaining the situation. Uh, and then the speaker explains that this something is different from the hunters. The work of hunters is another thing. I had come after them and made repair where they had left not one stone on a stone. But they would have the rabbit out of hiding to please the yelping dogs. So basically, uh, the hunters do something different by breaking the walls. Because uh, when they break the wall, they want to um, stimulate, push the, the rabbits out of hiding. Uh, and then uh, to have their hunting dogs, uh, their dogs uh, uh, chase after um, the the rabbit. Okay, so uh, a thesis and antithesis, 就一个正正的，然后一个反的，然后他就再再回到这正面，再讲那个呃、uh, the very gaps. Uh, he is talking about the gaps. I mean, no one has seen them made or heard them made. By spring mending time, we find find them there. I let my neighbor know beyond the hill. So this is the beginning of the action. I let my neighbor know that、uh, the wall is broken, so they have to、uh, mend it. And on the day we meet to walk the line and set the wall between us once again, we keep the wall between us as we go to each the boulders that have fallen to each.、Uh, this is a, a, a little bit difficult line to understand, but basically,、uh, to, to make the line、uh, start and end with to each means、uh, they want to put、uh, the boulders in their places. No, each boulder to where they belong. Each, okay. But、uh, the the line has to each and、uh, and to each to、uh, the line starts and ends with to each to make the the mending action kind of mechanical, regular and mechanical. Okay.、Uh, so he he goes on describing the 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 broken wall. Some are loaves and some are nearly balls. We have to use a spell to make them balance. This is where you sense that.、Uh, mm, There's something wrong here, you know. That this speaker doesn't seem to be sincere, you know.、Uh, the whole action is not a serious one because、uh, here he says that、um, the wall is hard to mend. You no, know, so they put you know, the the stones、uh, of different shapes. Some are loaves and some are balls, small ones, on the wall,、uh, and it's hard to keep them there. So they have to use a spell, 用一个魔咒 da 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 da, stay there. Okay. Stay where you are until our backs are turned, and this is even more comical. Until our backs are turned, right? 只要我我们在的时候，你你们那个乖乖的就好。我们走，你你们要怎么样都无所谓。Okay. For one thing, the、uh, the loaves and balls seem to be personified, 好像小孩子一样。你就乖乖的拔麻在的时候，你就不要吵就对了。那我们走，你就就随就随便你。呃，有点这种含义哈。So. Up to this point, you you start to re, uh, uh, wonder if this speaker is reliable, if the whole thing is、uh, a serious matter. Okay, we wear our fingers rough with handling them. It's a hard work. Okay, so they their hands get rough.、Uh, and then here、uh, begins、uh, the、uh, the persuasion because、uh, the speaker then realizes that it is it may not be necessary. Okay, so he said, "Oh, just another kind of outdoor game. One on the side, it comes to a little more. There is the, there where it is. We do not need the wall. He is all pine, and I'm apple orchard. My apple trees will never get across and eat the cones under his、uh, his pines." I tell him. Okay, so here he this is first per persuasion. He said that since uh you know we don't have uh like cows and calves and. Uh, dogs, uh, hunters. You know why do we have to、uh, need the walls to、uh, to、uh, to divide up the the territories? Okay, but um, uh, the neighbor said, "Good fences make good neighbors." Okay, and then the、um, the speaker goes on explaining what he has in mind, and、uh, he said,、uh, "Spring is the mischief in me." You no, know, so、uh, in other words, uh, 可能是那个因为是春天的关系啊，我我比较活泼，我比较。想要去捣蛋，好啊、uh, ，is the mischief in me? I wonder if I could put the notion in his head. And then he goes on persuading the neighbor. Why do they make good neighbors? Isn't it where there are cows? But here there are no cows. Before I build a wall, I'd ask to know、uh, what I was walling in and walling out, and to whom I was like to give offense. Something there is that doesn't love the wall. So here's his repetition. You know the、um, the neighbor repeats 
good fences make good neighbors here and at the end of the poem and the speaker you know on the other side trying to persuade the neighbor you know um repeats the first line the, the point begins with something there is that doesn't love the wall and here again something there is that doesn't love the wall that wants it down i could say elves to him but it, it's not elves exactly. I'd rather he said it for himself. So in other words, the speaker doesn't know either why uh, he doesn't like the wall or the something doesn't like the wall. You know, he said, oh, it could be the spring, it could be uh, elves, but uh, he doesn't like to say it, okay? I see him there. This is the speaker's description of the, the neighbor as if he were uh, a savage from the Stone Age, I see him there bring a stone grasped firmly on by the top in each in, in each hand like a, an old stone savage arm. He moved in darkness as it seems to me, not of words but uh, only not words of woods only. Sorry, not of woods only, and the shades of trees. So he has this darkness. He is not just physical darkness. Not that oh, there is a forest. So he is in the forest. The darkness is maybe a spiritual, mental darkness. He will not go behind his father's saying, and he likes having thought of it as so well. He says again, "Good fences make good neighbors." Okay, so um, the poem uh, is apparently easy, very easy, just about the story of trying to mend the wall and how the speaker does not uh, try to give up the, uh, uh, on the action, you know, with different persuasion, but without success because the neighbor is uh, uh, stubborn. But uh, I guess uh, uh, what is interesting about this poem is that, you know, first of all, you can try to uh, understand what a something means. You know, it could mean nature. Uh, it could mean that uh, nature does not, uh, nature like the nature in uh, the, an antidote of the jar, you know, is wild, you know, does not need to be confined. Okay, so it could be uh, nature. But then it could also be uh, our tendencies to love, to reach out, to break the boundaries, to make connections. You know, so this something could be in the speaker or in, uh, in the world you know, that he fails and responds to. Okay? Uh, but this is something is different from uh, the hunter. Yeah, the hunter is destructive. You know, the hunter uh, like, uh, just try to uh, use hunting as a game. Uh, uh, and then in a game, he breaks a wall, okay? And in the process of uh, mending the wall, you know, you just read this uh, poem and you find that the, the process of mending the wall is very uh, mechanical. So here, you know, it seems that the poem supports the speaker to say that uh, this mending of the wall is not necessary. But then on the other hand, if you go on um, listening to the speaker, uh, in his uh, trying to find out the, the reasons, you know, the, the spring, the elves, um, then you can wonder whether um, uh, uh, there is something uh, justifiable in the neighbors when he says that uh, good fences make good neighbors. Because, uh, you know, if we say that um, here there are two properties, okay, and uh, even if the plants, the vegetations will not cross a line, human beings can, can still cross a line. Okay, and uh, so here, then the, there's this question of whether you want to agree with the speaker completely. You know, this is also the question I keep on uh, wanting you to uh, ask about the speaker of, because I could not stop for that. So many of you just wrote that, uh, oh, this speaker accept that optimistically. You know, for one thing, accepting that is not an act of optimism. Okay, you can say that uh, she's calm in accepting that. But I even wonder if uh, she's calm. She's completely uh, accepting, uh, uh, receptive of that. Okay, so, uh, so these are the questions uh, you can ask of that poem. And also, you can also ask yourself of the speaker's uh, intention in uh, not mending the wall. You know, whether uh, the neighbor ha uh, has a good point in, uh, in mending the wall. You know, in keep, uh, keeping the good boundary, so that uh, they 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 move uh, in proper spaces. Because with a wall, it doesn't mean that there are no doors, right? If there are boundaries, there can also be doors for them to communicate. Okay, but then with proper lines, it's like a 
you know, when somebody g gets too close to you, you feel uneasy. You know, each one of us wants some space, you know, uh, uh, which we regard as our own personal space. And then uh, physically or uh, in terms of intercommunication, you know, if somebody crosses the line, crosses the line without some agreement or without some uh, 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 previous acts of intimacy, then you feel invaded. You know, so I think the no, this is these are the questions you can think more about. 